What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. As the thumbnail and title suggests of this video, yes, I'm going to show you a couple quick tips on taking better photos of your truck, Jeep, car, whatever it is that you like to take photos of. Now in 2018, social media is getting very competitive. So if you want to be able to stand out and, you know, get a lot of double taps on IG and you want to get like a good following base, your photos need to stand out. Now I currently run two vehicle Instagram pages, Diesel Addicts for my diesel lovers and Jeepers United for my Jeep lovers. And the whole premise of both of those pages is for people to send me photos of their vehicles and for me to post and share them. Who doesn't want a share in 2018? And nothing kills me more than somebody sending me an awesome vehicle build, but a really crappy quality photo. Either the photo is really blurry, the vehicle is half out of frame, it's not focused at all, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to take better photos. So now that my truck's not looking like a pappy truck much anymore, uh, <laughs> wow, what a difference tent, wheels, and tires makes on a vehicle. Uh, now that it's not looking like a pappy truck anymore, I figured this would be a good time to you know, make this video because I'm gonna start posting a lot of photos on my social media but to kind of attract attention of maybe vendors, uh, you know, different companies, and you know, to attract more people to the YouTube channel as well and vice versa. And for any of you quick haters out there that are gonna be like, John, what kind of YouTube build is this? It's not done. It's not, it's not even close to being done. In fact, it's just getting started. If you're new to the channel, thank you for joining us. The only thing done in this truck really is tents. I blacked out my Chevy emblems with black vinyl. I put a two and a half inch leveling kit up front and I put a set of 20 by 12 Black Rhino Glamis wheels wrapped in a 33 by 1250 Toro Trailblade XT tire. There are plenty more mods coming to this truck, not just physical, but performance wise as well to the truck here soon. So please stay tuned for that. So the first step in taking a better photo of your vehicle now, unless you went off-roading and you wanna showcase that you went off-roading and show how muddy and dirty your truck is, um, you wanna clean your truck. Now I definitely want a nice clean shot of the truck. So let's start by washing it. And man, I was not joking when I said in the tire, wheel and tire reveal, that this is the last time you'll see a clean truck because I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but these things are throwing whatever road grime I run over all over the sides of the truck. Now this is only maybe a couple, couple hundred miles of driving. Look at it. So let's get this thing cleaned up. Okay, truck is clean, but the last and most important step, which somehow I forgot last week in the wheel and tire reveal video, is tire shine. What an amateur move. Like, you don't have a clean vehicle without tire shine. Okay, truck is clean, tires are shiny. We're ready to go take some photos. And yes, I said go take some photos because uh, not everybody wants to see 30 shots of the same truck sitting in the same driveway. Now I will admit, I've taken driveway shots before. I have a few on my Instagram right now. But um, if you post virtually the same photo, the same truck in the same driveway, just different angles over and over and over again, it's gonna get boring. It's gonna get really boring. Nobody wants to see that. They'll unfollow you and go somewhere else. Sun is shining, which is really good. Uh, nothing beats like a well-lit photo. I see it constantly, very poorly lit photos. That's, that's a big one. People taking photos at dusk or at nighttime to showcase lights uh, is cool, but a lot of times like your camera tries to overexpose to make up for the lack of light and it ends up being very grainy, things like that. So today's a perfect day, which is rare in Pennsylvania but we have a blue sky nice cloud coverage and let's go take some photos of this truck okay now once you find your location you can probably see the truck way in the background once you find your location um, it's now time to shoot now I chose a this is like a field I'm on like a gravel road with some green grass some really tall grass in the background I think that's gonna look really good you can also choose like railroad cars old abandoned 
buildings and barns those always look really cool something that's going to really contrast with the color of your vehicle and basically give you a really badass photo now i know not everybody has like a dslr camera which i'm filming on right now or like a gopro but everybody does have a cell phone so that's what we're going to use for this uh for this photo shoot a cell phone a couple tips with the cell phone i would refrain from shooting vertically portrait style unless you're shooting for like your instagram story your snapchat story or like or like a wallpaper for your phone what you're going to want to do is shoot landscape this way more wide than tall the youtube that you're watching right now is landscape the monitor you're watching this youtube is probably landscape your tvs are all landscape basically everything is going landscape orientation versus like a portrait style Number two, angles. Get as many angles and as many shots as you can. That way when you go home and scroll through them, you have a bunch of different variations, a bunch of different options to choose from because some might not look as good as others in certain locations. So what I always do, I always get like a full front, a three quarter front, a full side view, a three quarter from the rear, and then you always gotta get that booty shot. And then you can go all around, you can do whatever. But I try to get the entire vehicle dead center in the image. That way, you know, everything fits. Everything looks real nice, real neat. Unless you're going with like a close up of the headlight or the wheels or something like that. I would probably try to step back far enough that you can get the entire vehicle in frame. And then lastly, this is a really big one. This is what a lot of people do. Instead of standing straight up, and taking a photo of your vehicle which don't get me wrong it looks cool just try it like kneeling all the way down and taking it from this kind of perspective it's it, it's now the hero of the entire image it's big it's bold it's right in your face and i bet you're going to love the outcome of it okay that wraps up location one let's find another spot to shoot All right guys, now location two did not work out so well. And honestly, that's why when I go to shoot photos of this truck, I go and try to pick out a couple different spots that just in case one or two spots don't work out so that way you still have photos from one of the spots that did work out. Now, honestly, spot number one, location number one, really wasn't ideal either. I got there way too late in the day and the sun was actually behind the objects that I was shooting versus in front of. So a couple photos that created like a really weird glaze over top of it, like for example, the side, the full side shot view, um, just doesn't look too good. It just does not look good in that setting with how the sun was and everything. And unless I Photoshop the entire image, it's just, you know, it is what it is. So you got to take whatever lemons you have at that time and make the best damn cup of lemonade you possibly can. <laughs> And that brings me to another point, editing. Every photo that I showed in this video has been edited. And not just, you know, slap on an Instagram filter and call it edited. I have to go in and actually edit every single attribute. You know, the highlights, the shadows, the contrast, the saturation. For example, this truck, these wheels do not show up in photos. They just show up as like a big black blob. And if I want the wheels to actually show up, I have to go in and adjust a bunch of things to, you know, make that happen. I was going to show you how to edit my photos in this video, but I don't want to lose everybody's attention and I don't want this video to be 30 minutes long. And I don't even know if you care to find out how I edit these photos. So um, if you actually are interested in seeing how I edit photos and uh, you know things like that leave a comment below let me know because if if people do really care about editing photos I would I'll do a video on how I edit my photos if you'd like to see any more photos that I take of this beautiful beast You can follow me on Instagram at J underscore Wargo and uh, That's all I have for you guys today. That's it uh, My light gang, please do what you do best smash that like button if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button, join the family, watch the build unfold, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Peace.